Hello there. Nice to be with you once again. Uh, I want to draw your attention to Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. It records the temptation of the Son of God by the devil. Take time to read it and notice the priorities in the life of our Lord. First, the priority of the Word of God over our daily food. Both are necessary, but God's Word must have priority. Verse 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And then the second priority is the will of God. Simply entertaining. Jesus didn't come, sorry, Jesus didn't come simply to entertain the public. He came rather to save sinners. And the salvation of sinners would require the supreme sacrifice. It says in verse 7, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. And thirdly, the priority of worship. Worshipping God and doing his will. Jesus was fully committed to his heavenly Father's will and wanted only to please him. And uh, in verse 10 he says, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. It is good to have a spiritual checkup from time to time to ask ourselves, am I feeding on the Word of God? Am I growing in my Christian life? And secondly, what does it mean for me personally to do God's will? We pray, do we not, in the Lord's Prayer, your will be done. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then thirdly, do I look forward to worshipping with others and having Christian fellowship? I did hear a little uh, quotation some time ago which said, What kind of church would my church be if every member behaved like me? Well, it's worth thinking about, isn't it? Our example to others, our contribution towards the church fellowship and its worship. So we have here in this passage the priorities of Jesus. And uh, he faced the devil with these testings, these temptations that would be before, put before him. And we, from time to time, will be tested and tempted along these lines to neglect the word of God, not doing the will of God, and failing to worship as we ought. Well... Do think about them. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. Let's just have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the example of your dear Son. We thank you that he came into the world to do your will, knowing that it would cost him his life, and yet he was obedient even unto death. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are building your church. You're wanting to have fellowship with others. 
you're wanting others to know your Father for themselves. And we thank you, Lord, that when we trust you, we become children of God, born again of the Holy Spirit. Bless your word to us and make us a blessing in these needy days. We ask it for your glory. Amen. Okay, good to be with you. God bless you and see you next week. Okay.